Hey guys, welcome back to another quick how to. So today I'll be teaching you on how to connect your Canva website in Wix. So first thing that you need to do is you have to make sure that you are on your correct side or the right side that you want to connect with your Canva website. Okay, so first is you have to go here in the site section and go and see all of your site. And then from there, you just have to select the site that you want to connect. Okay, so for this example, I'll be using this one. So just click on select and edit site. Okay, and then once you've done that, you just have to wait for a few seconds, then you'd be able to see this dashboard. Now just click on the edit site option at the top right of your screen. And then just have to wait for a few seconds until your website is opened. Okay, so going back here in Canva, you have to make sure also that you have logged into your account. Okay, so before we proceed to Canva, let us just wait for a few more seconds until this site is completely ready. Okay, and then from here, you have to make sure that you have to add a section where you can add a link or the linked website for your Canva. Okay, so to do that, you can just go ahead and add elements or you can simply click on the add section option right here where you can add different section or different template that you can actually use. So for this, maybe I'm just going to add a strip for this one. So I'm going to the add element section at the top. Okay, then go to strip. Okay, this one. Then I'll be using this blocked strip and then put it right here okay so we'll change the color of this later on so now that you have the section let's go to canva and once you're here you'd be able to see this page of course you have to log in or sign up for an account now to create your website you have to go to the create a design option at the top so this one and then search for website okay then you'd be able to see this first option so you just have to click on this one and then your site will be opened so once you're here you'd be able to see lots of options okay so you've got templates layout and styles so you can explore these things but today we'll be using the templates okay so you can go to layout and style so when you go to template you'd be able to see a bunch of templates that you can actually use but some of this are not for free. So just for example, this template. So if you want to access this template, you have to upgrade your plan to use this template because not all templates or features on Canva are for free. So for this video, we'll be utilizing the free template. So let me just find a simple one. Okay, so just select the one that doesn't have the crown icon. So for example, this one, you can add a seven pages for this site. So for this example, I'm just going to add two pages for this website. Okay, so you just click on add page and then you can drag the pages. And then after that, you can now start editing all of the elements that is on this template. So for this example, you can change the font style. So you just have to click on it. And then click on this option right here and see, you'll be able to see different font style. So some of it are not for free as well. So just select the one that is free and then you can start editing the text, then add your own words. Okay. So for example, let's check an area. Okay. So let me just edit this one. Okay. And then you can drag this and place it anywhere you want. Now we are going to delete all of these pictures and we can add our own frame or shapes to add our own picture. So to do that, just go to the elements option right here and then go to frame, okay? And then you'll be able to see different shapes of frame. So for this example, I'm going to use this circle and then the square one, okay? And then you can literally extend it from above or from below or side of the frame. So now after that, to upload your own images, you will then just have to click on the upload option right here and then click on the upload an image or video. Okay, and then you'd be redirected to your folder. Now you just have to locate the folder where you are going to get the picture that you want to upload. So for this example, I'm going to use these pictures. And after selecting the pictures, you will then just have to click on the open option. 
okay and uh, those pictures will be uploaded right here so now you will then just have to drag this and put it inside the frame and then it will just automatically fit it on the frames that you have added so you can also resize the frame to make the image appear more visible and then after that let's proceed to changing the background color so just click on the background and click on this option right here and then select the best background for your website okay now let's proceed to the second page we're going to make this one simple as possible so we just drag all of the pictures that you need and then change the font style as well as the word of this okay and then you can also remove the other words that you think is not necessary for your website so for example like this so let me just delete all of this text below the contact as to order okay and then let us change the background before we publish this website okay so just click on the background and choose your color then once you've done that you will then just have to click on the publish website at the top right of your screen okay so here is our website now just click on this publish website option at the top okay that's right and then you just have to wait for a few seconds okay so they have locked your design while you publish your website so you cannot edit anything right here now you can resize this in mobile you just have to click on checked or without navigation or with navigation so you can publish to free domain, purchase a new domain, or use my existing domain. So for this video, we're going to use the free one. So you just have to select it. And once you've done that, just click on continue. And then right here, you can have the page URL and of course the page description. Okay, so just have to type it out right here in this box and your page description as well. And going to the advanced settings, you can literally create a password protection so you will then just have to enable this one and type out your password so let's skip this for now now for the search engine visibility you have to click on this switch right here to enable the visibility of your website okay and then link preview is enabled so if you don't want this kind of thumbnail to appear then you can literally change this if you want to and then after finalizing everything, you will then just have to click on the publish option. Okay, and then they're now preparing your design and you just have to wait for a few seconds until your website is ready. Okay, so this is just very quick. And now as you can see, your website is now live. So you will then just have to click on the view website option to see a preview for your website. So as you can see, here is your website. Now, to link this one or to connect it to your Wix, the next thing that you can do is you have to click on the share button at the top right of your screen. Okay, this one. And then just click on the more option at the bottom. Okay. And then just click on the embed option. So this one right here. Okay. And then from there, you will then just have to click on the embed option. Now you have here HTML embed code and your smart embed link. So you will then just have to copy the HTML embed code. And once you've done that, you will have to go back to Wix website. So now that you're here, you will then just have to click on the add elements option at the left side of your screen. And then just click on the embed code option. Okay, so this one, and then just click on embed HTML. Okay, just click on the plus icon. And then you can now paste here the code that you have copied. Okay, so make sure to choose the code and then paste here the code that you have copied. Okay, so this one right here, the HTML embed code. So you just have to copy this one and then paste it right here. Okay, so I just have to click on paste. And once you've done that, you're going to also add an alt text. So what is the embed code? You can tell the Google, for example, uh, let's try to type out website to order our product. Okay, and then once you've done that, you can just click on the enter key of your keyboard to save your changes. Okay, so let me just find the update option. So after typing out your alt text, you will then just have to click on the update option right here. 
okay and then as you can see once you've done that you can now see here your website on canva so you will then just have to resize this one to make it visible as possible okay so you can extend it from below or from above or from the side okay so make sure to change the background to make this link to our website visible as possible so let us now change the color okay so let me just use this one and once you've done that you will then just have to click on the x button and as you can see we have now here the website that we have created on canva connected to our wix website okay so you have to make sure that you have based the correct website link for your canva website okay so to see this one you can now click on the preview and see if how the audience will view our website okay so they can literally click on this one to view what is on this website okay so we can extend this one or to view it on a full screen so you will then just have to click on the full screen button right here and see if what is on the website and of course in order for your customers to view this website you have to make sure that it is live okay so this is one of the important things that you should remember so to check that if this is live you can go back to canva and then once you're here you can just close this one and then just click on the share button at the top and as you can see the code is live as well as the website so if the people visited your website and then try to click on this canva website right here they'd be able to see what is the content of this website and if you have more questions do not forget to leave your questions on the comment section so we're going to answer your questions as soon as possible okay so that's a wrap don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification bell for more quick how-to videos next time adios